from Central Ohio's news leader. This is 10 TV News This Morning. New this morning, college students are settling into campus life, but many are still focused on paying for school and expenses. Here to talk more about saving money while at school is financial advisor Adam Koch and president of Libertas Wealth Management Group. Thanks for being here. No, thank you. I know a lot of parents are thinking, you know, college is such a big expense, um, you know, from saving for it and then while you're there too. And that's what we really want to focus on. How can students stretch their budget and stretch the money they have while they're at school. So what are some of your big tips? Well, um, the first thing is, you know, use that Buck ID if you're in Columbus, Ohio, right? Yeah. And there's obviously a lot of universities in, in central Ohio, but um, if you have a student ID, you can go to the movies, get discounts. Mm -hmm. You can get discounts for food. I mean, um, you can't use it for beer, of course. Right. But, you know, um, <laughs> but that's one of them. Um, one of the recommendations that um, I've heard many use that isn't so popular is stay away from sororities and fraternities because mm -hmm. they can be really expensive. Yeah, it's an added cost, Right? Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, just uh, using your meal plan, you know, trying not to go off budget, you know, spending money on CDs and Mountain Dew like I did when I was in college. Right. Know, blowing, blowing the budget that way. <laughs> so parents telling their kids, right. these don't spend it on things you don't really need. Right. What are some other tips that parents may not know about whether their kids are heading to college next year or are already in school? Um, I'd say... A lot of the times these days it's hard for especially middle class folks mm -hmm. to come up with the money to pay for school. Right. And once you've exhausted any grants, scholarships, then it's on to loans, mm -hmm. right? And once you're um, looking at school loans and you know you've got government loans and it's not as easy as it used to be right. uh, to get school loans mm -hmm. from the government and, and those loans are obviously tax deductible. But um, when you start going to the bank for loans, when mm -hmm. you start doing student loans at the bank, when you start doing student loans that are called private parent loans, mm -hmm. the interest rates go up. Um, they're not so tax deductible anymore. Mm -hmm. um, but there's uh, grants such as Pell Grants that you can use. There's um, you know different types of grants that you can apply for. I know at Ohio State they have what's called the Buckeye Bumble, Bundle. I'm sorry, the mm -hmm. Buckeye Bundle. Um, but anyway, there's uh, a number of ways to get money for school, especially if you're in middle or lower middle class, mm -hmm. free money to go to school. But Scholarships, just, obviously, big. check yeah. out every single scholarship out there. I think there's Everything. even one for people with red hair. There so might be. You would yeah. have Hungarians received with one. Red hair. Hungarians yeah. with right. red hair. Um, talk about you know, how to make your uh, money stretch on campus. So for things like books or furniture, sure. things like that. Well, books, for instance, you know, you can get books online these mm -hmm. days. You know, when I was in college and you had to buy the $450 theater book for oh. your, under, you know, uh, your undergrad. Yeah, you remember theater, those? Yeah. Right. Um, so that's, that's one way you can make it stretch. I mean, mm -hmm. there's a million ways, you know, we had Cliff's Notes back in the day, yep. but there's a million ways that you can go on, go online to get books. You, there's different places you can go to get savings. Um, rent it's, books. You can rent books, that's right. Yeah. Just like, uh, you know, there's audio books these days, mm -hmm. you know, through iTunes and things of that nature. So there's a lot you can do. And, um, you know, we've done previous segments talking about saving for college mm -hmm. for parents out there. And you, the most interesting advice that you gave me is that you don't have to have kids to start saving for your kids' college. Yeah, um, yeah we have people all the time that if, if um, your fetus is gestating, yeah. if you will, you know, you can actually get a 529 college savings plan and put it in you or mm -hmm. your spouse's name and then transfer it to the kid's name once they're born and you have a social security number. It, you get that st state, uh, the state tax deduction in the meantime. It, right, so you get the tax deduction and it can be transferred to other family Anybody, members as anything. well. You want to use it for golf lessons if you save too much? You know, as long as, as long it's as educational, right? As an accredited <laughs> university that uh, does golf lessons, sir, why not, right? All right, so great tips. So yeah. think outside of the box, not just filling out the FAFSA yeah. and being done with it. Think about those grants and those interesting do. scholarships that are out there for red hair. Right, red hair. And right. whatever else is out there. All right, All right thanks so much for right, being here, you. Adam.